Welcome to Devlog 3. My name is Jason, game designer and environment artist on Hunters Uprising. And anything you see here is very much early work in progress and subject to change as we progress in development. Up first, we haven't been happy with our character animations for some time. In first person it looked okay, but third person looked like he had a broom handle up his butt. So I decided to learn control rig and fix up some of the animations so the spine, head and shoulders had a natural tactical look to them. This is all still placeholder until we can get an animator proper, but for now, this will do the trick. Something else I've been doing is adding multiple entry and exit points and detail to the sewer system. I still have quite a bit of work to do, and the sewer system will also link up with our train and subway systems. As you may know, in most of our locations, we use placeholder assets from the marketplace to plan out our locations. Usually in other games, an untextured building might be used, whereas we used a lower poly floor plan solution. The dive bar in the residential area was one of these buildings and has now been replaced with a much higher detail modular design. I also wanted to add an arcade machine with retro sounds for a nice bit of detail and immersion. I also thought it'd be a cool little nostalgia hit for us old folk, so do let me know your thoughts. Meanwhile, Rabbit has been busy working on the train station and earlier mentioned subway tunnels, offering more choice on navigating our map while also adding more environmental storytelling. It's still early yet, but we plan on the subway train being usable to catch a ride at certain points of interest. More on this in the future. Rabbit has also been super busy redesigning our downtown location, adding details to existing building exteriors, and using some of the space for a new hotel point of interest with an adjacent military location. Roads are another item on our list that needed updating. They did the job as far as planning out routes, but the look wasn't good enough for us. So we are now using a new PCG road system, which is much higher fidelity and offers much more control. Our 
Our engineers, Danny and Constantine, have been very busy working on our first iteration of our inventory system using Jigsaw. It's really coming along nicely and some of you may notice some inspirations for how it works. And because of that, you should have no troubles navigating it. Of course, we still have a long way to go, but a proper inventory system was much needed for our vision. And finally today, Danny has also been busy programming our first major folklore creature from the US, the Wendigo. These creatures will be nocturnal, so you will mostly see them at night. Mostly. The Wendigo is one of the tougher enemies that actively hunts the player as night falls. And usually, they'll see you before you see them. And that is all for devlog number 3, a bit of a quicker one today. But of course, feel free to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, or join our game's Discord for more discussion or ideas you may have. We are extremely transparent and take on all feedback, good or bad. Links can be found in the description. Don't forget to hit that like button and share the video to help get our project known. But most of all, thank you for watching and I'll see you peeps next time.